today's video, we find out if there's more value in brand new Yu-Gi-Oh packs or old school 20 year old packs. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video where we are testing a theory that I have that new packs actually have more value in them than if you buy those old school packs from like 20 years ago. But before we actually figure it out, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. We have a CP02 Karibo, we have a Ruddy Rolls Dragon Raggy, and a DPE, Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. Just like the video, be subscribed to our notifications. Let me know down below, do you think the old school packs or the new packs that just came out in like the last year will have more value? All right, so for the new packs, we have 20 packs, four different sets. We have Age of Overlord, which is an incredibly good set. Rarity Collection, same thing. Phantom Nightmare, which is pretty good. And Maze of Millennia, same boat. So all pretty decent packs. Then for old school, I have a first edition Labyrinth of the Nightmare. We've got some Extreme Victory, First Ed. We've got First Ed, Lost Millennium. We've got Unlimited Pharaoh Servant. We've got Unlimited Aferana Guardian and some Unlimited Ancient Sanctuary. So we have some old school packs, including like some First Ed stuff, which will actually pull more value. Surprisingly, a lot of the time, it feels like the new stuff pulls like, I mean, there's crazy good cards in there. There's not so many of those unless you're like going for grading and stuff. But in terms of raw value, I don't know. I'm not totally sure. That's why we're doing this video. So it's 20 versus 20. Let's just get started and see. We're going to have a total on the screen. You guys will see. Put your votes in now of which you think will win. Honestly, my money. Well, here's the thing. Rarity Collection is going to help a lot with that value. There's high end potential in Age of Overlord, you know, the SP and stuff like that. Oh, and a secret rare right off the bat. Not SP. We got a TG Rocket Salamander out of the Ruxin special. Not a crazy one, but still, I mean, it's worth a little bit. And when it comes to like old school, a lot of these unlimiteds and like first ed retail packs, I mean, they don't even have very expensive cards. So we'll see if they can even live up to like that kind of secret rare. Plus the ratios, you know, it's a lot harder to get like packs that you know where you're going to get the right ratio in. So I really don't know what to expect from the old school. If we do get some uh, nice cards, you know, we're only doing raw value. We're not going to do like, uh, you know, graded value or anything right now, because we just want to see like if you were to grab both packs and you didn't do any grading or anything like that, which would win. So right now it looks like it's a great start for the new. They got a secret rare already. We got Red Dragon base back Lord Army. Can we get a ghost, though? I've never gotten one out of this set. Nope, not that time. Nebula Meteorite. That's a fun card. OK, here's where uh, they could take off. Rarity Collection 25th anniversary. You guys know it's a big one. Rarity Collection 2 is coming out in just a couple months. Let's see. So one from the back. We have Pot of Prosperity already adding value right there. Tour Guide, speaking of Extreme Victory, here's another reason why some of those old school cards are not expensive because there's a lot of versions of them. Like if it was... Oh! Oh! I'm sorry, old school cards, but we just got two Pot of Prosperity. One's a Super, one's a QCR. That is get, That might beat the entire old school, just that one pack. Uh, that's going to be tough to come back from. Galaxy Eyes Afterglow Dragon. Wow, talk about an amazing QCR pull. That's got to be like 50 bucks or something. All right, I forgot what I was talking about, but uh, yeah, the old school is already back on their heels. That's going to be tough to deal with. Uh, yeah, a Pot of Prosperity Super is probably like two, three, four bucks. Then you go to the QCR, which is the best version of the card in the set. And it gets pulled as well. We have Kamenate Blow. Pretty amazing. We have Win the Wind Charmer. Lost Guardian. We have Burst in a Trix. Let's pull that out. It's a nice common. Doriato Area. We have Ancient Gear Soldier. Pretty cool as well. And a Legendary Black Belt. I got to pull out the the, uh, the Ancient Gear Soldiers as well. Those are pretty awesome. Wow. I can't believe they got a good card that fast. That is, uh, yeah. So already proving, yeah, maybe just buy new packs if you're going to buy packs. Unless you're just a crazy person like me and you want to open some old stuff. Uh, the value, usually not really there. We're going to find out if I'm right or wrong, but my theory was uh, most of the time, the new packs, you at least have like high end chance. You know, you got some high end, like high rarities. You've got uh, some really nice meta cards that haven't been reprinted just yet. If you're in like the last year old school, everything's being reprinted. You know, it's like all about if it's collectible or not and if the people are interested in collecting it and uh, then you got to grade it. So it can really be tough to get really good cards. Like even if I could pull a Genzo, I think this is a retail pack, so probably no Genzo. But even if I could, Okay, Gravity Bind, unfortunately, that wouldn't work under Genzo. But if I did pull Genzo Unlimited, I mean, what is it like 30 bucks, something like that? I mean, it's an amazing card. Original, though, I mean, you could probably get more for it. The thing is, it's hard to really price them because if you sell to someone that wants the original, they would pay more than if they were buying, you know, like a reprint 2017. Like, they're obviously going to be like, you know, I'd probably pay like double what they're valuing it at on TCG Player. You know, maybe like 60 or something. But still, even then, a $60 card, like, that's not that much, really, if you think about it with how old it is. A $60 Genzo versus like SP Little Knight, which is like twice that much or whatever. So, 
it's like, oh, I think I'd personally, I'd be like, yeah, I'd rather have the Genzo, but it's not as useful to as many people, right? Okay, two from the back for Maze. We have Altergeist Multifigure, DZ. If we have Gate Zero, Totem Pole. The, a lot of these are like double stamped. We have Earthbound Prisoner, Stone Sweeper. I could use a sweeper for the end of our Radical Red Run, which, yeah, I'm recording this right before we are in the middle of the Elite Four. So by the time you see this, we will have finished it. And hopefully we'll have either not wiped. Hopefully we will have actually finished it, you know, beating the last three members. One, two, three, four. He, okay, Pharaonic Guardian's a big one for the old school. We need to pull some big comments. That's like really the only hope is to get that and then some really nice cards. That's a good comment. I don't think it's money. There's a good comment. I think this is down like three, four bucks at this point, but still really good. We'll take anything we can get for the old school. So that'll add up. Non-aggression area. We have Charm of Shabti. Power Clock, we really need the Trap Dust Shoot as well. Different Dimension Capsule and Pyramid Turtle. That's a pretty cool card for some old school formats. Pyramid Turtle is really awesome. All right, this is uh, so far. I mean, the originals are sitting pretty. If Age of Overlord gets anything crazy, which they already got a Salamander, so I'm guessing nothing else. But we, I mean, there are Ultras in here. Ogdotic, we, I mean, there's still that uh, the Zeus guy, whatever his name is, the Typhon. Uh, Cursed Bride Doll, we have Asset Mountis. I mean, a 25th anniversary of that would be huge. 25th of anything really would be huge. Uh, nothing that time, but we do have Ancient Sanctuary right here. Ancient Sanctuary, A-S-T. Can you bless us with something sweet? One, two, three, four, like... Uh Okay, almost Ruxin, super ultra Ruxin special. Rocket Jumper, we have Monster Gate, also a good card. This one may still be two bucks, so that's pretty good. Door of Fate, we have Disc Fighter, Soul Reversal, Aswan Apparition, Armored Break, and Special Hurricanes. We are getting some cool commons, but I don't know if that's going to be enough. Uh, we've done Age of Overlord. Okay, back to Rarity, which has absolutely destroyed us so far. I mean, that if we take out that Rarity pack, it's still pretty close, but that Rarity pack went crazy on us. We have Effect Veiler, pretty nice, Small World. It's a Small World. we got Secret Rare. We have Blue Eyes, Abyss Dragon, Compulsory Evacuation Device. So nothing too amazing there. Let's do an Extreme Victory again. One, two, three, four. Swap those around. Give us a Ghost Rare, Ultimate Rare. Let's go. We have Reboot, Secret, Tour Guide. Psychic, we have the Army of Skiel, Scrap Kong, Mirror of Wazelle, Army, not Mirror, I don't know where I got that, Warwolf, Vase, we got Full House, and we have a Full House of Ghosts, no, Meteorite, back to the Meteorite, not too amazing, Phantom Nightmare, too bad we don't have any Phantom Darkness on the, uh, the old side, that would be pretty awesome, one, two, three, four, Phantom Darkness versus Phantom Nightmare would be good. We have Fish Lamp, we have Berserk Archfiend, Tricorn, Aroma Blend, Goblin, Biker, Grand Stampede, Seize Force, we have Dark Guardian, Three-Eyed Ghost, and... Ooh, ho, ho! Oh, the new are just rubbing it in. They are just bashing the old school into the ground. The prayers of the voiceless voice. It's going to take an insane comeback for the old school to, to come back now. I mean, that's a $70 secret to go with the Pot of Prosperity. It's even better than the Pot of Prosperity, I think, unless Pot of Prosperity has gone up. Wow, this, is, this might be ugly, guys. This might be ugly. This might be like, all right, old man, you aren't what you used to be. And then they start like kicking him on the ground or something. Okay. It's like in a move. I don't know. Probably more like a cartoon. One, two, three, four. We have the white ninja. That can be like when uh, Kaiba's like almost kills Yugi's granddad for no reason. We have battery charger. Yugi's granddad is the old score. Let me teach you about the heart of the guards. Bust in a Trex. A minefield and... Oh, an ancient gear golem. First edition. Let's go. All right. The old school making a comeback. This is going to pop up at like 20 bucks. So don't freak out. I know it's super. It's not super crazy. Okay. Let's. I'm, I'm, I'm going to throw in the PSA price just so you can consider it for the total. Because we're. I mean, they're going to need the PSA price to have a chance. One more quick look, though, at... I think this might be gradable. Yeah, this looks really good. I think this can get a 10 based on just the quick look at it. Centering seems pretty good. All right, there we go. We got something out of the old school. I'm happy. Uh, but now uh, the new school is back to bash our brains in. Bonfire is probably upcoming, which if it does happen, I'm not going to be mad. Not going to be mad. We have the Altergeist Ogama. We got Emergency. So quickly, so we have the fiend super rare. All right, that's not that crazy. That's fine because we just pulled an ancient gear golem. That's pretty amazing. All right, Pharaoh's Servant. That's pretty awesome. Can we pull a big card out of Pharaoh's Servant? Please, Buster Blader, make it happen. We have Burning Land. We have Dark Fire Soldier, Numero Dos, Bite Shoes. Gonna buy. You put these on, I mean, just imagine your ankles after that. We have the White Tigre. We have Gust. 
Insect Barrier, Spike Bots, Regulation of the Tribe, and ooh, a Mirror Wall. Original, super rare, not gonna be a lot of money. It's an original on limb, and usually it's based off the 2017 price, really, realistically. It's probably still a couple bucks if you were to sell it as OG, you know? But uh, yeah, not really gonna hold up super well in terms of value. And that's why the new does better, you know? They're just, they just hold up better until they get reprinted. Then they're, you know, kind of like the old school. We have Tastina, we have Fierce Forest, we have Shade Peacock, close. We have Tastina, Transcendosaurus, we have the Soul of the Supreme Celestial King. We have Knight and, oh, Exceed the Pendulum. I thought maybe for a second we might've gotten that SP Little Knight, but we didn't. Okay. Pharaoh's, uh, not Pharaoh's Guardian, Pharaonic Guardian. <laughs> We're gonna need a trap dust shoot in here big time. Uh, maybe a maiden of the aqua, another metamorphosis, all that kind of stuff. One, two, three, four. This actually feels like these Pharaonic Guardian were actually made without, they weren't horrible. Probably because they're unlimited. The first ads are all jagged. We have Impachi, Gravekeeper Spy. I don't know if that's still money. I'll pull it out. Shape Snatch, Needle Sailing, Yomi Ship, Giant Axe Mummy. We have Gravekeeper's Vassel, Teuton Mask, and Pyramid Turtle. We're going to have a full play set soon, which would be pretty cool for a zombie deck. Oh, we're on a rarity again, aren't we? Oh, no. More rarity collection to destroy us again. <sighs> One from the back. We have a Cherubini. We have Compulse. Spectre Border Secret. We have number 100 Numeron Dragon Collector Rare and an Ice Barrier. So Numeron Dragon, pretty cool card. Can really bash you in the face with 9,000 attack, even on the Blue Eyes deck. Don't know if it's a money card, but I mean, it's a collector rare, so it has a good chance. Ancient Sanctuary, you're not exactly a money pack. Like, even if this costs the 449, it says on the front, we're probably not pulling 449 unless you get like an ultra. One, two, three, four. Let's get an ultra then, or a secret. That'd be amazing. We have Arcane Archer, Dust Barrier, Sonic Jammer, Desert Sunlight, Atomic Flyer Fly. We have Flare Dragon, The Law of the Normal, Metal Armored Bug, and oh, an ultra, just like we asked for. Curse of Anubis. Still probably not 449, but this is actually a pretty awesome card. In Duel Links, it was pretty good for a while. You know, you just turn all effect monsters into defense position so it worked pretty well a lot of the time all right phantom nightmare let's see what you can do i'm not sure how phantom nightmare has only one pack left i don't know one two three four somehow that happened we have the mystic potato swallows we got dragon and we've already done so good out of the set so we have propros haven't gotten really good quarter centuries even in my cases so if we get one now okay we didn't white sardine it would be nice to get one at some point uh back to we're gonna save labyrinth of nightmare for the end because it's first ed we have in first ed labyrinth of nightmare you could get you know gemini and everything it'd be pretty amazing let's see let me know if you guys like these old school versus new school kind of openings i think it's kind of fun just to see the contrast of like what you can get runaway i did four from the back that's the rare but that's okay that shouldn't mess up where the foil is should it we didn't get a foil so it doesn't matter okay nothing there nothing crazy maze uh for some reason you have three packs left everything that would be fine but the phantom nightmares was throwing me off two from the back we have rescue meliseek we have saurus rux and special right into a raccoon all right the lost millennium you've been pretty good so far i'm not gonna lie lost millennium you've been decent all right you've had some good stuff you've had some good pulls out at tlm one two three four We've got Win the Wind Charmer, Impenetrable Fortress, Medusa Worm, Lone Wolf, Rux and Special, Level of Conversion Lab. We got the Clay Man. Very nice. Area, a uh, Doriata's Blessing, and hi, Hierakos Sphinx. This was when I first opened a lot of Lost Blending. I kept getting this card. Hira Coast Sphinx, very similar. You know, we, we tend to pull it all the time, but that's fine. Uh, Back to Age. Chaz, two packs left. Age of Overlord, one, two, three, four. Give us that SP Little Knight we have. I mean, they're in a bit, they have a big lead right now, but they could really put it away with an SP Little Knight for sure. I don't know if Old School could come back from that. Destina, Earthbound Servant, a Noiveles, super rare. They're really, they're, they're, you know, they're calming down a little bit. Pharaoh Servant. I mean, this is your chance, Pharaoh Servant, to really bring us back. Give us a Buster Blader original one. To, and then we can put up like the PSA price so we can say we came back. All seeing white tigre, collapse, light of intervention. We have steel grotter number two, regulation of the tribe, skull mariner, cold wave, gamble. Oh, what a dust tornado. We are getting a lot of trap cards. I mean, Vera Servant has a lot of traps, but that's a good one. Dust tornado, even unlimited, actually is pretty solid because of the old school formats, even if you include like the 2017 version. So, 
That's a pretty nice pull, actually. That should add to the tally. All right, I'm going to go to Maze real quick because Maze has two left. I think there's two rarity collection we can do after this. Two from the back. We've got the Supreme King Code Hack. We have Earthbound Prisoner, Supreme King Dragon, a Geo Grasha. All right, nothing crazy there. Do Pharaoh Servant again. Can we get a nice common? Maybe like a Metamorphosis or something. It could be really awesome. Aqua Spirit. No, Made of the Aqua, not Spirit of the Aqua. Oh, Dust Renato. That's one of them. One, two, three, four. We will get to it in a second. We have Cryuel, Buster Rancher, Poison Mummy, Call of the Mummy. There's a Trap Dust Shoot. Very nice common. One of the best in the set. Gravekeeper's Curse. We have Banner of Courage, Curse of Aging. And we have Reckless Greed. Our greed for the old school is not working out so well. Rarity Collection. Here we go. Rarity, one from the back. You have Inspector Border, Alpha. Harpy's Feather Torm Secret Rare. We have, ooh, a Shadal Schism. That is a Prismatic Ultimate Rare. And a Junk Speeder Prismatic Collector Rare. All right. The double whammy pack, or as Konami would call it, a double, what do they call it? High, what do they call the high rarity cards? Uh, Lottery, no. There's some word for it, like luxury rare, double luxury rare pack right there. Okay, one, two, three, four from the back. Ancient Sanctuary, come on. Give us a Night Assailant, give us a nice foil. Delta Attacker, Statue. Soul Eater, Nubian Guard, Backfire, Three Amplicuda, and the, the Talisman of Trap Stealing or Sealing. Not crazy. I'm pretty sure that I didn't do, I only did like 19 packs of here because I don't think I did five Phantom Nightmare. Oh, well, uh, I think they're still winning. <laughs> Minus one pack, if that's if I'm correct about that. One, two, three, four. Should be winning, and they, and they also probably didn't have 20 packs. Fish Lamp, we have Ultimate, we have a White Sunfish, unless I just did it in the wrong order. We have Golem, Mature Chronicles, Romolith, Magnolia. Nothing amazing there. Let's go backwards and do Ancient Sanctuary. We're going to have an extra pack, it seems, on the old school because I miscounted. All right, we have Weapon Change, Protector of the Sanctuary, Mermaid Knight, Lady at Ninja Yay, Tactics, Solar Flare Dragon, Law of the Normal, Manthro Tro, and Amplifier for our Jinzo that we don't have. But hey, if we get a Jinzo at some point, this will go perfectly. The Amplifier, super out of Ancient Sanctuary. Pretty amazing. And I haven't even mentioned, like, not to mention, if we actually, like, total up the value of, like, the cost of these packs, I mean, the new ones would be way cheaper, even with the high value Age of Overlord and Rarity Collection. The cost would be a lot lower, and the pulls seem to be a lot easier. We got a super Salamandra. I think I did that pack trick wrong. Here we go. Pharaonic Guardian. Pharaonic Guardian. Can you pull us out of this? If you guys have enjoyed this video and you want to see something like this or something else, make sure to let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell. We have Guard, Hieroglyph, Lithograph. We have the Capsule, Locus, Secret Pass of the Treasure, Nightmare Horse, and Dark Geroid. No big commons in that one. Unfortunately, we really needed it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do these because we can have two at the end for the old school trying to come back. Age of Overlord, you've been pretty good so far, but there is one card we would love to pull. QCR Little Knight would not be bad at all. I mean, I'd be okay with that, right? Ken the Warrior Dragon. We have Earthbound Servant. Okay, not this time. We did not get a QCR. Maybe next time. Let's do a Pharaoh Servant Unlimited. We're gonna need a huge pull, probably two, unless it's out of Labyrinth of Nightmare. We could pull maybe like a Gemini Elf or something. I don't know. That'd probably do it. One, two, three, four. And, but maybe not even without grading. I don't know. We have the All Seeing White T Gray. We got Official Light of Intervention. We got Ground Collapse, Ruxin and Special, Armored Grass. Armored Grass. That'd be interesting to look at. We have Champion, Respect Play, Garuchin Kuwagata, and a Prohibition. I think Prohibition's actually money. So, and by money, I mean like two, three bucks. So, it'll add up. Rarity here to just absolutely put us away. I have a feeling this might not be good for us. We have Predator Plant Dragons to Pelia, Masio Dark Law. If it impermanence, pretty good. Might be money. Alpha and Shadal Schism. So nothing amazing, but I mean, Infinite Impermanence is not bad. Two packs left. Let's do it. I mean, we've got already got an Ancient Gear Golem. I don't have high hopes for this for this loss of Millennium pack after that. I'd be down to pull two of them though. I mean, Ulti would be good. I think it's a retail pack, so I don't think we can get the Ulti. But if it if it's in here, I won't be mad. We have also the Earth Charmer. We have Kamenate Blow. Guardian Statue, King of the Skull Servants, very cool common. Death Wombat, Final Ritual of the Ancient Elemental Herbal Stentrix, another one I like. The Second Sight, and Cryo Sphinx, to go with our Cryo Phoenix thing, or whatever it's called. Last pack magic, here's the score right now. We are going to need a huge pull to make a comeback. First Dead Labyrinth of the Nightmare, we're going to need like Gemini Elf, uh, Dark Necro Fear. Even then, like, it's going to probably have to be graded. One, two, three, four. But I believe First Dead Labyrinth of the Nightmare, here we, oh, here we go. 
I'm losing my voice just in the wrong time. Biomage, we have Aqua Spirit. Not made another Aqua, different thing. Spirit Elimination, we have Skull Lair. Last Pack Magic, Shining Abyss. If you guys have enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content, old school and new school. Mario Kutai, I think that might be a short print. S Portrait Secret, Dark Door, and our final card, it looks like a spell. Spirit Message, I think, thankfully it wasn't the L, though the old school, I think, took a massive L, as you can see on the screen right here. Shout out to Tom Fo Show, Puffins the Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutster, Another Toy Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Changalang, and Adelso Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.